Good day viewers, welcome again to my channel, Second Matter, the solution to your math problems. This is WASI 2025 Core Mathematics for Private Candidates. Compulsory question 4. There are X number of red and Y number of blue balls, all of the same size and weight in a box. So inside the box, the number of red balls is giving us X and the number of Blue balls is giving us y. The total number of balls in the box is 20. So meaning that the number of red balls plus the number of blue balls must be equal to 20. So this is our first equation. And again, the ratio of x plus 2 is to 2y plus 1 is equal to 2 is to 5. So let me write down the ratio. x plus 2 is to 2y plus 1 is equal to 2 is to 5. Remember, x plus 2 is to 2y plus 1 can also be expressed as a form of division. So 2 is to 5 can also be represented as 2 on 5. So let's express the ratio in terms of division. So we have x plus 2 on 2y plus 1. This must be equal to 2 on 5. At this point, you can cross multiply. So now, 5 will multiply the numerator. So we have 5 multiplying the numerator. And then 2 also multiply the denominator. So we can expand the brackets. 5 multiplied by x, 5x, five, 5 multiplied by 2. 10, 2 multiplied by 2y, 4y, and then 2 multiplied by 1. We have 2. So let's express this equation in this form. So we are grouping variables on the left and the numbers on the right. So we have 5x minus 4y is equal to 2 minus 10. So finally, we have 5x minus 4y is equal to negative 8. So this being our second equation. Remember, remember that the a part, we have to find the values of x and y. So to find the values of x and y, we need to solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. So let, let me repeat them. For equation 1, we have x plus y is equal to 20. And for equation 2, we have 5x minus 4y is equal to minus 8. So we are using the elimination method. But you can see that the coefficient of x in equation 1 and equation 2 are different, as well as the coefficient of y in equation 1 and equation 2 are also different. So I want to eliminate x, so I have to multiply equation 1 by 5 to get a third equation. So we have 5 multiplying the whole of this equation. So 5x plus 5y is equal to 5 multiplied by 20, that is 100. So this will be our third equation. So now using our third equation and the second equation, we can eliminate x. So how do we eliminate x? So we can say that equation 3 minus equation 2. Equation 3 minus equation 2. So equation 3, starting with the x variables, have 
5x minus 5x then the y variables plus 5y minus minus 4y so that becomes plus 4y this must be equal to 100 minus minus 8 which also becomes plus 8 so we have 5x minus 5x plus 5y plus 4y this must be equal to 108 again 5x and minus 5x can also cancel out so 5y plus 4y 5x plus 4y so that is 9y and this must be equal to 108 we are looking for y so we can divide both sides by 9 so the 9 will cancel out leaving so 108 108 divided by 9 12 so we have 12 we also need a value of x so we substitute y is equal to 12 into any of the three equations so i prefer equation one prefer equation one so equation one that is x plus y is equal to 20. but we know we know x as 12 so making x a subject we have 20 minus 12 so x is equal to 8 so for the a part x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 12 now for the b if a ball is selected at random from the box we have to find the probability that it is i to be i probability that the ball is red so the probability that the ball is red will be the number of red balls remember the number of red balls was represented as x so in this case the number of red balls is 8 divided by the sample space so the sample space represents the total number of balls inside the box and we're told that there are 20 balls all together in the box 8 out of 20 is a common fraction but not in its lowest form so when we reduce this to the lowest form 4 goes here that is 2 then 4 goes here, 5. In B, I, I. We are also to calculate the probability of selecting a blue ball. So the probability of selecting a blue ball will also be the number of blue balls. We represent the number of blue balls as y. And y, we have 12 divided by the total number of balls inside the box, which is 20. So 12 out of 20 is also common fraction which is not in the lowest form so four goes here three four goes here five so this was a very nice and interesting question i hope you enjoyed this episode please like comment and share the video see you next time